Imagine you are a time traveler and you went back in time and it's October 23rd 2020 and Apple just released iPhone 12 series phones. You saw that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is not only bigger in size with significantly bigger battery but has like 47% bigger camera sensor with in-body image stabilization that captures better low light photos and great steady videos. Then purchasing the bigger iPhone or the 12 Pro would make more sense to you, right? But with the iPhone 13 series, the similarities turn the differences upside down. In this video, we are going to compare my iPhone 13 Pro Max with the 13 Pro which I just purchased to basically replace my non-portable big arse huge flat object. All the four cameras on both phones have exactly the same pixels. On the front, we have a 12 megapixels true depth sensor while all the rear ones are also 12 megapixel sensors. We have identical telephoto wide and ultra wide cameras with the macro capability on both devices both can shoot raw photos and apple progress raw videos interestingly this time around the entire iphone 13 lineup comes with ibis the in-body image stabilization for steady videos since both phones have identical cameras i guess camera comparison is baseless both phones support an identical peak brightness of 1000 nits it's 1200 nits with the hdr content the same adaptive 120 hertz high refresh rate Similar pixel density of 460 ppi on the iPhone 13 Pro while a slightly lower of 458 ppi on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and almost the same display resolution but wait what's the difference regarding the displays you guessed it it's just the size and weight the 13 pro has 6.1 inches while the 13 pro max has 6.7 inches display both panels are OLED as well the 13 pro max weighs 240 grams while the 13 pro weighs 204 but really the 0.6 inches size difference comes at a cost the cost is called inconvenience in addition to the extra 100 quid that you would pay for the bigger bulky phone it's hard to use the 13 pro max with one hand typing a text message with one hand can be a nightmare if you have a smaller hand reachability is also a real problem here so one hand usage is basically a concern when apple released the iphone 13 series the 13 pro had a terrible battery compared to the 13 pro max but with the ios 15.3 update problem has been addressed by optimizing the battery usage web surfing is 11 hours 42 minutes on the 13 pro while it's 12 hours 16 minutes on the 13 pro max that's because the 13 Pro Max houses a huge 4,352 mAh battery while the 13 Pro has a smaller 3,095 mAh battery. On paper, it's seemingly a big difference but in real life, it is not. That's because if you assume that the two operate at the same brightness, then the larger screen must draw more current. If you imagine the difference in size of 0.6 inches, it's easy to see that the larger 6.7 inches display will illuminate a larger space because it emits more light which is what uses more of the battery's energy. Okay, which one to buy? If you are a camera only person and portability is your thing, go for the iPhone 13 Pro. It will serve you well. If you are into gaming, then I think bigger display makes more sense. I don't play games on my phone, nor do I watch TV shows on it. So the 13 Pro made more sense to me, considering that both phones offer mainly the same display quality, identical cameras, same speakers, and an identical F15 Bionic chip. Let me know in the comments section which one would you go for and why. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.